हेलो एवरी वन आई हटली वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस माई सेशन टूडे माई टॉपिक इज सिंपल बैंड ब्रेक सम ऑफ द लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ द सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट कैन लर्न द वर्किंग एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सिंपल बैंड ब्रेक ए फ्रिक्शन ब्रेक यूज स्पेशली इन वहीकल्स क्रेन्स एंड वेस्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फ्लेक्सीबल बैंड अराउंड द रिवॉल्विंग ड्रम and is operated by tightening the band this type of brake can be used as parking brake in motor vehicles you can see here a small uh, video with a better for the better understanding now this is a schematic diagram of the simple band brake uh, in this diagram this is a lever and uh, this has two points that is o uh, called the fulcrum and uh, b at which one end of the band is attached which is a uh, small b distance from the fulcrum and uh, there is a drum which is keyed on the shaft and this drum is rotated in clockwise direction and this drum is rotated in anti clockwise direction guys here one thing is very important what happens when the fulcrum is here when the position of fulcrum is here now the force required to apply the brake should be not in upward direction but it is in downward direction in this case the braking effort we will apply in upward direction because fulcrum is here if the fulcrum is here then we need to apply the braking force in downward direction construction and working of the simple band brake first of all we will talk about the construction of the simple brake a band brake consists of a flexible band uh, band of leather one or more ropes or a steel lined with friction material which embraces the part of circumference of the drum in which one end of the band is attached to the fixed pin called fulcrum of the lever while the other end is attached to the lever at a distance b from the fulcrum now what happened when the uh, amount of force will be uh, uh, applied at the, in the upward direction when the force p is applied to the lever at point c the lever turn about the fulcrum and tighten the band on the drum and hence the brake are applied the friction between the band and drum provide the braking force uh, now the very important things is that how we find the value of p and braking torque let t1 is the tension in tight side as we see here t1 is the tension in tight side t2 is the tension in slack side this theta is the angle of contact and you can see here this contact made between the l and m and between this contact the angle made is theta this is called the theta is the angle of contact so, mu is the coefficient of friction r is the radius of drum and t is the thickness of band and re is the effective radius of the drum uh, re is taken effective radius is taken when the thickness of this band is considered otherwise in normal condition we can take only r as a radius of drum now we know that limiting ratio of tension is given as t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta where e is the exponential mu is the coefficient of friction as we know theta is the angle of contact now the what will happen when the brake is applied the net force acted at the system is only t1 minus t2 because t1 is greater than t2 now the total friction force we can say the total friction force is t1 minus t2 now in the previous lecture we have already discussed about the braking torque braking torque is equal to what the frictional force into radius of the drum and here uh, we can say not a radius of drum but it is a perpendicular distance from the center of the drum to the line of action of force here this is a net force and net force acting at this point and the perpendicular distance from here is as a radius now we can take the net force and radius of the drum only r normal radius can be taken when the thickness is not considered but when the thickness of band is considered then we can put the value of re 
effective radius of the drum and re can be written r plus t by 2 where t is the thickness of band now second thing is that how we will find the value of p now look here at the diagram when the drum is rotated in clockwise direction the end of the band attached to the fulcrum o will be slack and a slack with tension t2 you can see here when the this drum is rotated in clockwise direction this uh, t2 is slack side slack uh, slack in uh, tension and this t1 has tight in tension now when the drum is rotated in anti clockwise direction now the t1 gets slack side and t2 gets tight side and for the equilibrium condition we have to take the moment about the fulcrum and in the previous lecture i have already discussed the condition of equilibrium and how we'll take the moment if you take the moment about the fulcrum the t2 will be cancel because the line of action of the t2 forces passes through the fulcrum and there is no any perpendicular distance of the force t2 now the remaining force 2 has t1 and p and in this system p is rotating in anti clockwise direction about the fulcrum and t1 is rotating in clockwise direction about the fulcrum now you can write t1 into b and p1 into l when the drum is rotated in clockwise direction you can see here pl is equal to t1 into b similarly we can write here when the drum is rotated in anti clockwise direction then this t2 is uh, rotates in clockwise direction about the fulcrum and this p is rotated in anti clockwise direction about the fulcrum now we can write pl is equal to t2 into b as you see here this uh, moment equation is for the anti clockwise rotation and we can uh, we can easily find from the breaking effort from this equation and in the last uh, there is a one small video and we can see here in this system fulcrum is here because the acting force is in downward direction and uh, when the drum is rotated in clockwise direction at the time of rotation there is no any contact between the band and brake but uh, in the during the rotation when the small a small effort is applied at the end of lever band get tightens and the rotation of drum is stopped with the help of this band this is called simple band brake system thank you